crankbait. Good lord. Can we grab it? No, I got it. I'm out here with Ben on Lake Toho for his annual birthday trip. And I just made my first cast with a crankbait just because I had it tied on. I just got done telling Ben the only thing I've been able to catch him on out here is a worm. And this one ate a crankbait. Chewed it too. He sucked it down. So, yeah, crankbait. He choked it. Ben's got an annual tradition every year for his birthday. His wonderful wife gets him a trip with me. And I want to thank her for allowing me to catch this. No. <laughs> So anyway, I'm out here with Ben. I just had to throw that fish back. I didn't show you. They, he choked this little crankbait down. It's a little, small little tiny crankbait there. I made one cast with it. Don't know if that's the pattern. Saw a fish blow up. We're out here on Lake Toho all day and we're gonna see how much weight we can catch. What was that, about three and a half? Yeah. Easily. About three and a half. We'll try and keep track of our best five. See ya. Birthday fish. So the crankbait bite was short lived. Not a big one unless he is rushing me. Where are you? Not a giant. I got all excited because I caught one on a crankbait. And then I jumped off a little tiny one. One and a half on a crankbait. Yeah, and Ben caught a shad on a crankbait. Let you know what they're eating out here. <laughs> Eating shad and eating 10 inch worms. Or Is that your first cast with a worm? Second cast with a worm? Second, yeah. Still out here on this magical shell bed that's produced so many big fish for me the past few months. What was crazy is yesterday I wasn't out here, but we had tornado warnings. Big front came through. So the wind out here had to be blowing 25 or 30 probably. Easily. Which can mess up stuff like this, this offshore type stuff. Um, the lake's level's low this time of year, which tends to keep the lake from getting too muddy. It's usually high water conditions will make the lake get muddy. Water looks fine. Years past, though, you get real heavy winds and stuff like that. The, you come out to your spots the next day, and it's just kind of, especially your offshore stuff, it's all muddy and messed up. But when you have this low water like this, uh, or lower water conditions, I won't say it's low. It just keeps every. There's still just as many fish I'm seeing swimming around on the 360 as I normally see, and I guess we've had three bites now in about 20 minutes. And a shad. And a shad. Bait fish. A bait fish crushed that crankbait. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Nice. Better one. That crankbait again. Right at the boat. Apparently, he's had two or three. We're still in the same spot. He's had two or three bites on a worm right there, yep. like right by the boat. And this is my second fish on this little crankbait. Not near as big as the first one, but it was it 10 again, feet from though. the boat. I can't even remember what kind of crankbait this is. I think it's a little, a little Strike King, King 1.5. Little. I think it's a little 1.0, it looks like. Yeah, it's a tiny one. I can't, it's kind of embarrassing. I should know what it is. It's that little crankbait right there. It is a little striking though, I'm pretty sure. I just cannot remember. I can't remember what I bought it for, why it was in my box. But they're hitting it on a little stop and go, just like everything on Lake Toho. Stop and go, stop and go. See, I don't just fish warm fish. <laughs> or food. Or flukes. I get accused of only fishing with worms and flukes. I'm versatile. Did you get hit right there? Where are all these bites so close to the boat? To the tank. We haven't really had that amazing of a morning. The camera's right in the sun. 
but it's typical for Lake Tahoe. I'm sure we're going to catch them fine. But what is weird this morning is about two thirds of our bites have come within 10 feet of the boat. Have you noticed that? Yep. Both my crankbait bites. I had a worm bite that I missed a while ago that just about yanked the rod out of my hand right by the boat. And he just had that one. That's like your, oh, that was on a fluke yeah. type bait. That was on a fluke 10 feet from the boat. If that. Even fish like ranger boats. <laughs> Somebody will say, they do that to my Skeeter too. Yeah. Oh, there's one, top water. Nice. So we're over some scattered hydrilla where they've been schooling in the middle of the day. I was catching them on a speed worm the other day. Got one. We got a double. What's that on? Luke. Oh, look, there's one with them. Oh, eat it, eat it. Oh, there was another one with them. Dang, there was another one the same size with them. I thought I had a good one, but I got a lot of, a lot of. That's that dual pitch 94 from 13. And he's throwing a fluke. Another fish, probably couldn't see it on the camera, but the same size as this one followed this up. That's a little snub nose, look at him. See that? Little snub nosed bass. Doop. Look at that. They're still schooling. Have not been able to get them to hit top water. On the every other day I've been up here, it's been super windy. And today it's not. Trying to figure them out here. They're definitely biting a fluke. Caught that one on the dual pitch 94 from 13. And now I'm tying on. They're eating little tiny shad here. Little tiny, like one and a half to two inch long shad. I know they'll hit something like a Ned rig, but I'm not throwing a Ned rig. So I'm gonna see if they'll hit those little white yellow magic from one of my. One of my customers gave it to me. I got on 12 pound line so I can throw it a mile. Oh, they gotta hit this thing. Oh, nice. Yellow magic. <laughs> it wasn't my first cast with it, so I'll probably be able to catch more than one on it. About the most versatile I've been all year. Yeah. Crankbait, two different types of topwater plugs. Um, did I catch one on a worm? I'm trying to think if you caught any on a soft plastic today. I have not. I have not. I have not caught a fish on soft plastic anything today. For all those people that think I only use flukes and worms. Yeah. Sitting still. They're eating tiny little shed in here. Tiny little shed. One fish is not a pattern, especially a fish that size. We will see.
Got him. Trying to find something that they'll bite better than a fluke. And to get a bigger fish. And the fluke is still out doing everything. There's a lot of fish in this area. We're fishing up here. And there's a lot of fish in that pound and a half, pound and a quarter, pound and a half range. And you gotta weed through them and there's some fives and sixes and some sevens. Probably some fish bigger than that, but it's kind of like a, you know, at like a family get together. When you put a bunch of cookies out, the kids are gonna always get the stuff first. So you gotta kind of weed through all the small fish to get to that bigger bite. Oh, see that fish just wake up behind mine? Oh, there you got it. Nice. That fish waked up behind the the yellow. Oh, there's another one with him. See that? Scream yellow magic. Yellow magic. Yellow magic. <laughs> that reminds me of the old scene from the show The Office where they came running through the office and they're going, parkour, oh, yeah. parkour. Yellow magic. That fish pushed up behind. Oh, you got another one? See, as soon as I think I'm doing something right, he gets another bite on the fluke. Mine was bigger. Yeah. Not really. It was about the same size. <laughs> that one taking off with it with him. A little bit better. A little bit better. Put on a show for it. I don't know. I don't get to scream out yellow magic though when you catch them on a fluke. Fluke! Fluke! some better fish in here blowing up. We just can't seem to get to them. Magic. That's called the uh, help your buddy out. Your buddy lost your fish. Oh. Yeah. No longer buddies. <laughs> I had that. You're not my friend anymore. Wasn't even moving that thing. Yellow magic! Well, that's probably why I lost it. I didn't yell when I got the, it. You didn't yell it. There's a fish. They're not getting bigger. Our fish are getting smaller. The magic's gone out of my yellow magic. It's not even yellow, it's white or pearl, or bone. bone. Fisher, halfway swirling at it. It's hot. The gnats are coming and going, but I'm, I'm sticking with the yellow magic because I feel like the fish just moved on us and we're gonna get back on them. Good, I see where they moved to. Yeah. Holy, that's like the second or third time they've come up out there. That's over some thick hydrilla too. 
I guess we'll go over there. There's yeah, some right in here too, though. Can't they do that? Oh, oh God! Yellow. Did you see how big that one was? That was a good one. Chuck. As we're trolling along. Ah! That's the biggest bite we've had. Uh huh. That was a good one. He came out for it too. Oh! Another one came and got it right there. Yeah. Scream! Yellow magic! Oh, there's three. We finished with them. See if they'll come up and eat the foot. Where'd they go? That's like butler chain type stuff right there. Slap the lure onto the wall. Yeah. Not paying attention. That's when you get the most bites on top water. Not when you're looking at it. There's still a little magic left in the yellow magic. Ouch. It's a skinny bass. Dude, that was a big blow up. I don't know how big the fish was. The blow up weighed like four pounds though. Yeah. He came out for it too. I know. And I whiffed. I'm impressed that you've been able to keep trying to. It's dead calm and hot. Third week of April, is it the third week of April? Third week of April. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Middle of the day. Matching the hatch. Oh, big fish. These heavily pressured lakes like Lake Toho, when uh, it gets dead calm, you can't get super aggressive. Some other parts of the state you might be able to, but like if we started throwing a buzz bait or some big obnoxious lure, a rattle trap type bait or lipless crank bait, we probably wouldn't be catching anything. That's why the fluke is working better than this topwater plug is. And this is a very subtle I mean, I'm barely even moving this thing. I'm halfway popping it and letting it sit, and that's when they're hitting it. And he's dead sticking a fluke, and we're in three and a half feet of water. Oh, oh. Was that a fish, or was that just me? I think it was just you. Oh. Looked like there was a secondary boil behind it. All right, Ben just caught his 40th fish of the day on a fluke. Actually, I don't know how many we caught today. We caught a lot of fish today, but the size wasn't there, and that happens sometimes. And we kind of had to, the fish got finicky today, they got smaller. We've seen some bigger fish, we just didn't really catch anything bigger. Um, last year, I don't remember what time of year it was, I talked about a giveaway where I was going to give all this stuff away for getting to 10,000 subscribers, but it had to be by December 31st. I didn't get there. Partly my fault, mostly my fault because I didn't put out enough videos. I need to put out more videos than I put out, which I'm only getting out about one about every week and a half to a week. And I need to put out more videos than that. I know that, so that's my fault. But I'm feeling a little generous today. While everybody's quarantined, nothing to do. You're sitting around watching YouTube videos and TikToking and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna do another giveaway, but I'm closer to 10,000 now. So at any, I'm, so I don't really wanna give a, do the giveaway at 10,000. I'm going to do 12,000. So if I get to 12,000 subscribers anytime between now and the end of this year, that's just, oh, I got one. 5,000 subscribers more than what I have now. I'm going to do a good giveaway. That's a decent one. Yeah, that's a decent one. Matching the hatch. So what I'm going to give away is this little rappel. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to give away similar to what I offered before, but I got to get to 12,000 subscribers. I didn't do the other giveaway, like I said, because I didn't get there. But 12,000 subscribers anytime between now and the end of the year, that's basically what, like seven months? Yep. I'm going to give away two full days of fishing, two eight-hour days for up to two people. You can't give this to somebody. It's just if you win it, you got to go. For two people, all you got to do is get yourself here. A whole pile of fishing tackle stuff from 13 fishing rod and reel for each person some fishing tackle to go with that that's probably about a seven eight hundred dollar value right there plus the two days of fishing that's a eight or nine hundred dollar value right there and two nights in a hotel not a little horrible hotel i'll get you a nice hotel room here in orlando somewhere all you got to do is subscribe 
a lot of people, I get a lot of views from people that don't subscribe. I understand people don't want to do that. But my sponsors look at the amount of subscribers I have. They don't care about the amount of views. So sub please subscribe to my channel because I really want to give that away. Easy to do. You just got to log in to your Google account and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. But don't just subscribe to win something. I want you to like my videos, watch my videos, give me suggestions on what kind of videos you want to see. Uh, and I'm going to give all that stuff away. It's got to be around a $3,000 value for clicking a little tiny button. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you next time. Subscribe to Chuck's videos. Ugh.